Okay, this is the electrical room, but I'll explain what these, uh, these components are in here. Past the motor control center, you've got the service disconnect. Past the service disconnect, you've got the meter base cabinet on the top, which is where the meter technician will come to read the power consumption. And to the left of that, you've got the automatic transfer switch, which is to do with the, uh, the, the load that is able to be, either the power comes from the line, or when the power goes out, the generator kicks on, and then the transfer switch transfers from the line power to the generator power. And then to the left of that, you've got the telephone demark point and fire extinguisher. Okay, this is the electrical room um, in the other direction now. So on the left hand side, you've got the 600 volt distribution panel plus breakers. Uh, then on the right hand side, you've got the uh, 120 slash 208 volt distribution panel plus breakers. To the right, you've got um, an isolation transformer and a step down transformer. To the right of that, you've got control panel A with an HMI and emergency stop for the process and truck fill as well as a alarm indicator, light, and a reset button. And then you've got the exits. Standby power. This is the transfer switch operating and you'll hear the generator start up in the background. switch will tell you whether you're on N for normal power or E for emergency power. Um, it tells you how many volts you've got coming into the plant through its line or emergency power. Um, if you're to, if you wanted to test it, there is a test button. Um, if you needed to set emergency uh, parameters, you can do it through this menu, uh, a view button, which is to view settings, and a normal power button. So when you go to view, you can check event histories, uh, you can also check uh, the, whether the contactor is in normal or emergency, and that is it. And then you can also view control parameters, communication setup, common alarms, inputs and outputs, time delays, time delays, and source setup, as well as your system setup. 
your exerciser set up if you need to test uh, the, the transfer switch, and maintenance records. So if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to test the emergency setup, then the transfer switch, then you would turn this one on and it would automatically turn over the, the switch and should theoretically start the generator. Um, yeah, that's it. This just tells you uh, your voltage that you've got between your phases. as well as your phase to neutral. If your emergency power was on, it would tell you your voltage between your phases, as well as your phase to neutral, and how many amps in line A, B, or C you're supplying. And then that's just a time and date setting. That's it. Uh, the emergency set. Sure oh, now we're gonna get out of that one. And I'm not gonna press the test button right now, but when you press the test button, that triggers the transfer switch.